could you tell us about your experiences in Kargil? I know I'm going on a mission on which I will not be coming back. Out of 100, 80 knew that they will not see the sunlight of tomorrow morning. Hello and welcome to Career Central, the podcast where we demystify interesting careers. I'm your host Sachin Ramurthy and this week we have an Independence Day special. We will be talking with Mr. Anil Oberoi, a former Major General of the Indian Army. The Army. Its very mention brings up feelings of immense pride for our country and we recognize its valiant efforts in keeping us safe. Whether it's patrolling our borders or fighting to make sure we live another day, the Army is truly a remarkable body of extremely strong-willed people. The path to becoming an officer in the Army varies by country, but is generally very competitive and rigorous. Although many simply think of it as a physical test, there is also an emotional and, of course, strategic component to being an Army officer. There are a few recognized ways of becoming an Army officer in India, but we will focus on the most prominent one. After clearing the 12th grade, candidates must take the National Defense Academy examination. Apart from being perfectly healthy and fit, you must be strong in academics and have a burning desire to serve your country. Only the best of the best are selected and trained to be army officers. Today, we will be talking with a former major general of the Indian Army, Mr. Anil Oberoi. Mr. Oberoi has over 36 years of experience in the army. He was also involved in the Kargil war between India and Pakistan. Mr. Oberoi was also approved for the post of Lieutenant General. In the past, he commanded the largest division of the Indian Army on the Indo-China border as General Officer Commanding. In addition, he was involved in strategizing war plans through operational research to protect over 1400 kilometers of the Indian border from the Chinese army. Finally, Mr. Oberoi held the esteemed post of Director General of Recruiting in the Indian Army headquarters. He recruited over 80,000 soldiers and 2500 officers per year. Obviously, Mr. Oberoi is a very decorated and inspiring person. Mr. Oberoi, what does it mean to be an army officer? Oh, being in the army uh, uh, it is something a feeling of tremendous amount of satisfaction, tremendous amount of